All right, welcome back to your fourth video on how to make extra documents. And just before I start, I just figured out that you can change font sizes in Eclipse. So hopefully that will be better readable, or readable for you guys. But without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, our aim for this tutorial is to create cells. And for that we're just going to need uh, one sheet, so I'll just go ahead and delete the other two ones and name that something like uh, test. No, wait, test is boring. Let's call it X. All right, and I'll just rename it to sheet. So we're just going to uh, work with that one sheet and create the cells in there. And as you can guess, we need a couple of more imports. So we'll just I'll just tip in import org dot apache poi in the ss user model, and in there there's a class called the row. And the other thing we're gonna need from the apache poi, uh, also from the ss user model, is the cell. So uh, the row is going to specify the row number, of course, and then if you want, uh, if we want to specify the uh, column number, it's going to be the cell. So we have the, uh, we pretty much have the coordinates of our cells. Let's create a cell. So for that, we're going to create a row first. Let's call it row, and like we uh, like uh, like we put the sheet into the workbook. We can put the row into that sheet. So we just say sheet dot create row. And of course it asks for an integer. Uh, so we'll just go give him a row number. Let's say in the first row we want him to say something. Um, so let's specify the column number. For that we just type in cell. Let's call it cell. And like we put that row into the sheet and we put the sheet into the workbook, we'll put the cell into the sheet, uh, into the row, of course. So row dot create cell. And as a parameter, it asks for a uh, for an integer. So if we take, for instance, the letter, uh, letter number uh, D, it's probably going to be the number 4, because, you know, A is 1, B is 2, C is pro probably 3, and D is then 4. So, how are we uh, going to put in a string? That's easy. Let's type in cell. And then the only thing you need to do is set the cell value to something. And we can either type in a boolean, some numbers, and for this one, we're just going to type in the string, and this is going to be something like hi there. So in the end, hopefully we will see in the row number one and uh, column number D or four a string that says hi there. Let's run it, and we don't get any error message. <coughs> Sorry, I can't talk. We don't get any error messages, and if we open up Excel, hmm. So there is hi there, but certainly not in the right row and not in the right column. Actually, it's one column too far and one row too far. Well. The reason for that is if you've worked with computer programming stuff before, you know that the computer always starts counting at zero. So the it works the same way here. So instead of saying create the row number one, we have to create a row in a row number zero because it's going to start counting in there. And of course if you want to the letter letter D it's going to be A is zero, B is two, three is Three, oh no, wait, three. Three is C, and D is then... Dang it, I can't count. Wait, 
I need to write it down. Um, so a equals to zero, b equals to one, c equals to do two, and d equals to three. Okay, d, so d equals to three. Let's run that. And we didn't get any error messages. And if we open up Excel, ta-da! We certainly got the right word in the right row and in the right column. So I guess that's basically it. Now, so now you know how to fill in cells. Um, actually, let, let, let me show you something. Um, we can actually uh, delete the row uh, and let's do it like that. So uh, we want to put the cell, like uh, the coordinates, into the uh, into the sheet. So we can we just can say sheet, and then we have to create the row, uh, and of course in line number zero, and then we have to create the cell. <laughs> I hope that wasn't it now too quick. So uh, that's basically doing the same thing as before. It just leaves uh, um, we, the only thing we skip is we don't uh, we don't make a row anymore. We just make a cell directly from the sheet. So that's a, a quicker like something like a quick way, a quicker way to do that. And of course, if we run that, we don't get any error messages and in Excel everything should be good as well. So alright that's how we're gonna uh, type something into the cells and in the next tutorial we're going to read out of cells. So keep an eye out for that and like always thank you for watching and see you next time.